so I was at um, a semi-final last week Monday at the Dard Hotel in London. Um, we were about 40 girls there um, competing for 15 titles and I was thankfully crowned Miss Birmingham 2022. So I've grown up um, in Birmingham. I was born in Handsworth. Um, my mum's from Shimla in India, which is in the Himalayan mountains, and my dad is from the Punjab. So we ca they both came here when they got married and then they had me. And yeah, I grew up here, did my schooling here, did my university here, and now I work here as a specialist pharmacist in critical care. So we're based on ITU, um, so I'm a hospital pharmacist, so we attend all the ward rounds as part of the MDT and review all the patients on ITU every day and just help make inf interventions on their management and make sure they're on the appropriate treatment. Uh, I qualified about three and a half years ago um, and so it's about three and a half years and my specialty uh, I've been within the last year or so. So when I was younger I used to swim competitively so I do a lot of swimming on the side and I've recently um, gotten really into fitness and well-being from within as in eating clean um, and being more into nutrition um, I lost about 13 kg in six months last year after covid um, and honestly it really has changed my life from the inside out I feel a lot more confident in myself but also um, I feel healthier and happier and I think mental health is very big and if you eat well and work out it really helps with stress especially in the job that I'm in and especially coming out of the pandemic I think mental health is something really big and everyone should really be talking about it. First time yes first time in my life I think I'm a really strong believer in fate and a lot of the steps that have happened in the last few years um, have led me to this point and it was chance that I landed upon this opportunity and I feel really blessed to have got this far. It was on Instagram, um, there was an advert that came up saying um, women aged 16 to 27 who have beauty with a purpose, which I felt I did embody, um, can come forward and put themselves forward for this. And I kind of thought it consolidated how I felt about myself um, and how I wanted to represent myself. I think um, your nationality is not defined by the colour of your skin. And I think Birmingham is a very multicultural city and I think it's about time we we started showing that in more facets and I think our last Miss Birmingham, Miss Bella Hakim, has done a fantastic job with her role in the past year and I'd love to love to carry it on. Miss England, a lot of it is about charity work, um, being the work they do through the Beauty with a Purpose charity, the Miss World charity. And my religion is Sikhi, so Sikhism. And a big part of Sikhism is Seva. And seva means um, unconditional um, giving and helping others. Um, and this pageant gives me the credible platform to do charity work. I think it's really hard these days to come across um, charities that you donate money to and you can trust that the money is being used in the way that you want it to to better help the people and the Miss England platform is so credible and their charity work is so credible. It's nice to be affiliated with that and be able to do my charity work through that. Um, so it helps me become closer to my faith um, as well as represent my community. It's funny that you say that because I never thought I had a talent. I thought I kind of just, you know, did my work, my job, went home. But Bangra dancing, you know, it's it's in my blood. It's part of who I am. It's up in jobby culture. And when I submitted the talent entry and ended up in the top three um, at the semi-final, which surprised me, but it kind of validated that, yes, I do have a talent and I can do both. I can do a job. I can, you know, um, feel like I can take pride in my appearance, but also have dance as a means of expressing how I am. And I think that's something I'm really looking forward to is, is doing Bangor again for the, for the next part of my talent. And I really enjoyed the semi-final doing Bangor on stage with our hosts. Um, I think it was, yeah, it was, it was really fun. So I think the talent entry is something I'm really excited about. I think it's a nice way to also see what all the girls can show. I think it's a way to show your personality, if anything. In the Midlands round, we had a barefaced entry where we entered with no makeup on um, for the Cetrium Consuetics brand. Um, we also had the Dentike Smile brand for our sponsors, Dentike, um, where we smiled with our pearly whites. Um, I actually submitted a picture whilst I was in, when I was in Paris, um, we went to go see the Mona Lisa. So I took a picture in front of her because I thought it was fitting. Um, and we also had rounds such as a talent entry, of course, um, and then the charity queen round. So I did 100 laps um, of swimming within 75 minutes. 
uh, for the Beauty with a Purpose charity and I raised about £750 in about a week, which I didn't know I could do. So this competition definitely empowered me to do that. Um, another round was the um, Publicity Queen round. So a lot of the social media and a lot of the um, newspaper or um, TV media channels that I was on and on the radio were within the Indian community. Um, they really are excited about this opportunity for me and they're proud that, you know, that their, their girls get into this stage and representing them and showing how intertwined the cultures are with British culture now. I think England is a fantastic multicultural country and I think platforms like this really help celebrate that. So yeah, those were, the, those were all the rounds. So that was another round actually. So the Beautiful Brows um, sponsors. So they do a lot of products for um, eyebrows, eyelashes. They're really well known for their eyebrow products. Um, so we had a round where we used one of their products um, and did an eyebrow tutorial. And my, I love my thick brows. Um, I'm no Cara Delevingne, but I do love my thick brows and I love the, the natural um, bushy look and the products are so pigmented a little goes a really long way so i did an eyebrow tutorial and i was done within like 20 seconds if anything less than a minute um because the products just really do go so far so yeah the beautiful brows um brand is i think it's fantastic and it's really cost effective because like i said a little really does go a long way